so good morning good evening everyone so guys till now what all things we have covered uh okay so in linux uh, basic command in depth right uh these are the things which we have covered right uh grip basically with grip all the all the operations i would say uh we have done with this one right i know you have to practice this guys otherwise uh it's not going to work out or it's not going to help you okay until unless you will not practice uh that is important for you because grep is something which you need to practice on a regular basis right types of file also we have seen and today uh we are going to see this uh symbolic link uh basically uh soft link and hard link and there are some filter commands let's see okay how much we can cover in this one before this you guys have any doubt friends uh to join my live online classes uh, just go to google and type abhishek roshan so once you type this one uh you can see the topmost website here that uh, https uh, colon slash slash www.abhishekroshan.com this is my uh, legitimate and authentic website uh, you can just click on this one and uh, even you can download the android app also for your mobile devices so here you just need to go to the courses and here you will find out all my live upcoming classes and ongoing classes my friends so as of now the ongoing classes are batch 2 and batch 3 is ongoing so once these two batches will be finished so uh, the upcoming classes uh, that is 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp is also available you can join this batch and even if you want to join uh, 100 plus days of it corporate boot camp that is batch 4 right so you can jo join now only uh, the batch is going to start from july okay and if you only wants to go for a aws corporate boot camp then you can join this 30 days of aws it corporate boot camp guys see uh, basically uh, i know symbolic link you guys have uh, rarely heard but in interviews and all they are going to ask this question on a regular basis and this is must ask question for 2 years 2 to 5 years or if you are going even for 5 years ha huh, even for the not for the fresher i would say fresher they will just ask that what is the difference between soft link and hard link and all right uh but in some cases they will ask you to how you differentiate between a soft link and a hard link uh, how it's look like which is the actual file what is i node number right uh, what do you understand by those i node number how to check the i node and also these questions could be asked to you can it be created across the partition this kind of a question definitely they are going to ask you so whatever it is written here that it's a shortcut file or a backup file let's see one by one uh with will prove each and every point over here so shortcut file means soft link is nothing but it's a shortcut file let's go to our windows okay so let's go to our d drive here right so here it's exactly like in our d drive right if you take any this tomcat installation is there so basically this is the actual file yes or no guys correct this is the actual file if i click on this one this is showing 66 sorry uh, it is showing 1.35 kb and all right and one item is selected over here so if you hover your mouse over here so you'll see when it's modified and all it's little bit statistic of this file you are going to get it over here right and if you right click on this one okay if you if you have to create a shortcut of this file then how we can create a shortcut of this file you what you will do you will directly send this to desktop for example i am telling you you are sending it to desktop and if you are going to your desktop uh, are we able to see tomcat dot this is the shortcut file so basically in windows uh, same way in linux we have a shortcut file the actual file is somewhere else and the uh, link or you can say the file which you have created okay to access it easily okay so you have created a shortcut file in the desktop so these are basically so see this file was in which partition that is also one point over here is that this was in d drive and i have created in the desktop so desktop where it lies so desktop is basically in the your c drive only correct shortcut file is basically it's not a restriction that you can create a shortcut file across the partition that i'll come to know but here just to understand from your point of view that if you come right and if you see that uh, the file was in d drive and we have created the shortcut file in c drive correct yes or no guys right so and backup file is nothing but uh, it's a basically your uh, hard link you can say like uh, file which is there obviously if you go to d drive if you create a backup of it 
so it's basically a copy of the file exactly you are creating a clone basically of the same file so that both the file will be so both the file will consume space right but in case of shortcut file if the original file is deleted link is broken and data is lost means what it is telling now let's start doing from here okay clear this one now we are in batch 2 right let's do ls hyphen ltrh okay so here we are telling if original file is deleted link is broken and data is lost okay so for example if i am telling this jenkins file is there right so with this jenkins file can we create a soft link okay how to create a soft link so for that the option is like command is ln hyphen s and you need to give the file name for which file you want to create the soft link you just give this one what location in which location you want to create the soft link where log batch log we have one directory right all of you remember we have created a directory called batch log so there i am going to create a file called jenkins dot s link don't get confused we should not create like this okay i'm just to make you understand i'm giving this extension it's not mandatory that you have to give it like this again so you can directly only give jenkins file and all right so if you do ln hyphen s so the soft link is created right so here you can see by looking at this main file can we guess this is a soft link file yes or no obviously no. not because we cannot identify in starting it is not showing any see previously also i told you a file which starts with d it's a directory a file which is starts with hyphen it is a normal file if a file starts with c it's a character file if its file starts with b it's a block file if a file starts with l it's a link file okay so for that in which location we need to go in that case you need to go to this location let's go to this location and just do a ls hyphen ltrh over here now here you can see the link how we can see like this this is a link file you have created means which one is the shortcut file and which one is the actual file this is your actual file right and this is your to make you see that is what i have given over here right this is the file which is soft link right so this is why this file is your soft link and this file is your actual file correct and if you want to see in real time how it is just go to boot directory just do a ls hyphen ltrh right and here you can see like this same way right so which one is the actual file here then why i am showing you this one so you should not get confused so you should understand like this we can check over here understanding my point guys yes or no now so what i am telling in this case if the original file is deleted link is broken and data is lost obviously okay so if in this case if i am going to delete this file okay can we delete this file right before deleting this file let me go back to the same folder right so here i am going to delete this file nothing is there in this file you can see nothing is there okay so let's delete this actual file right guys okay bye bye take care